Well, as you can see here, I've staked some of this conga and left the skin on. I'll try and show you there. The stakes are pretty good. There's a, a weird bone structure in it. I think the bone structure is like a, a Y sort of shape. But what I'm going to do is cook this fish and then take it off the bone, the meat. But you can see there's plenty of steaks here. That's down by the tail end. It's not so thick, but it's still meat. What I also did is did a fillet. As you can see, it's a very large fillet. It goes on forever. You can see there, it's absolutely massive. What I'm going to do is just chunk that up and then I'm going to fry it. I'm only going to use a bit of salt and pepper on this and then cook it in salted butter. Reason why, I've never eaten conga before, as you know. So I want to taste it on its own just to see what the flavours are like in it, what the texture is like. Once I've done that, possibility, if I like it, I'm going to be doing a stir fry with it. Supposedly the Chinese love conga, so I thought, why not do a stir fry? So I'm going to use some teriyaki sauce and make a, teriyaki, well, a conga teriyaki stir fry. See how it turns out. But yeah, I'm going to chop this up now. I'm going to leave these pieces whole, cook them as they are with the skin. I'm going to dice that up and break it down and cook it. What I'm going to do then is pull it apart off camera, get rid of all the bones, it's just the meat. Taste it, see what it tastes like, tell you a lot what it tastes like, and then make a stir fry with it potentially. So let's crack on with it. Well, as you can see, we're melting this butter down now. I got the pan on high heat just to get it melted. Do not burn the butter. You don't, don't want it starting to burn because it will we'll taint the taste of the fish. So as it's starting to melt now, what I'm going to do is turn it down a touch. Let that melt slowly. As soon as it's melted, we'll get the fish chucked in there. I've not washed this fish. This is as it is. That's the way it's come out. It feels quite a firm textured fish to be fair. What I'm going to do is just chunk it up. There's no way I'm doing it in a certain way. Just chunks like that and I'll fry it. Once it's cooked, I'm going to pull it apart, give it a taste and see what it tastes like in the stir fry. But yeah, just chunks like that. You can see there's plenty of meat off this. This was only like a six pound conga. Six pound two I think. And there's a lot of meat here. So meat wise, it's definitely worth it. That's it. We'll get this in the pan, get it fried up. The same with the other chunks with the skin. And let's see what it's like. What I'm going to do here is season it a little bit. I'm not going to go stupidly heavy on the salt. As always, I use sea salt. There's a bit much in my hand there. But I'm cooking it in salted butter. So I'm not going to go crazy with the salt. That'll be enough. I'll save that salt. I'll tip too much out, don't I? And then a tiny bit of black pepper. I usually don't pepper fish heavily. Not with black pepper anyway. I use white pepper generally. But... Yeah, I'm no chef, I'm just a fisherman, but I like to eat what I catch sometimes and never try in conga, I've always wanted to. But as you know, we don't get a hell of a lot of them here. So this is the perfect time to try. This butter's starting to bubble now, so what I'm going to do is get this conga in. Get the steaks, and just drop them in. Get the steaks in first because they're a lot thicker than the other part that I filleted. Looking at this, you are a lot better to steak it rather than fillet it. The fillet in was an absolute nightmare and it just, I think the steaks will be a lot more edible, you know what I mean, easier to pick through. The temperature set on around three on an electric hob, so we'll get these cooked and then start getting ready to pull it apart. I'll let you know the cooking times, but I've never cooked the steaks like this myself, so I'll leave these to cook now, there's no point video in this part, it's going to probably take four or five minutes probably. But as we come towards the end, I'll bring you back. Get it onto a plate and we'll see how hard it is to pull apart. And have a quick look at the bone structure. Um, I've been told by a lot of people, congas don't have bones, it's just cartilage. But then I've watched other videos and they do have bones. It's a like a weird Y shape sort of bone. So we'll see now, we'll get this cooked and we'll pull it apart and separate the bones from the meat. See if we can get one of the bones out and see what sort of bone structure we're in. You know me, with everything, I'm straight and honest. I will never ever be doing this again with a conga, ever. Um, it makes no difference which I get, the steak or the normal. 
don't know if you can see these here that's the bones they're very hard to see that piece there will be rammed with the bones all of it is the whole lot I've picked through that part there I don't think I've got all the bones out to be honest there you go look one two three so I'll carry on picking through this get a pile of meat and I'll put this in the stir fry that will be nice I think but yeah it's a shame it really is because this could be a really nice eating fish maybe there is a way to get around it and fill it, fill it the bones out but I can't see it myself it just seems to be absolutely full of them I'm probably missing bones in this now unless you rip it up tiny really small like this you miss the bones I'll have to rip it up tiny like that but yeah we've got a decent pile of meat there there's a good handful so I've picked through most of it so what I'm going to do get on with the, the stir fry side of it well what we've got here is a Tesco stir fry it's a meal deal it's £2.50 for the noodles, the sauce, and then that's just a vegetable stir fry mix, which is cheap. This dish, you get your fish, obviously it costs you your bait, but then £2.50 and you've got a full meal. So this could work with other fish potentially. But anyway, we've got a teriyaki sauce there, egg noodles, and stir fry vegetable mix. So what I'm going to do, whack it all in a pan, get it cooked, and see how it goes together. Let's have a taste. I'm not going to go on camera and eat it. None of you lot need to see me munching on camera, but get a bit of the noodle and a bit of the fish down here. Look, you can see it there, it holds its shape quite nicely. But I've got to be honest. It actually tastes amazing. It really does. I'm actually surprised how nice it is. And you can taste. But you can't really taste. The fish is weird. It's meaty. It's not a fishy sort of fish. It's really not. But yeah, the flavors are absolutely amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. It's a conga stir fry. Um, would I do it again? Yes, but not with a conga. I won't be eating conga ever again. I won't be bringing one home, they'll be getting released. They're way too bony for me personally. That's just a personal preference, everybody is different. I don't like fish that you can't get rid of the bones. I've actually just swallowed one, I can feel it in my throat. <laughs> That's how bony it is. And I've picked through this like crazy, and I've still got bones in it. So yeah, I won't be doing a conger again, but I've done it, it's a catch and cook. First one I caught, I've eaten it. It does taste nice. Unfortunately, it's too bony, but that's it. Well then, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you can, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.